Hi there. Up on the operating table today, we've got Alfie. Alfie is a lawn flight classic, and Alfie doesn't stop. So today's job is to change change the brake pads. And I've got to get that caliper off. and put those brake pads in. Just for a second. Right, just took a couple of moments there to take those two bolts out and drop the pad out. And as you can probably see, that is worn down just a bit. So, next job is to get that one out. And then the other half is still hanging inside on a couple of springs. So I'll remove those and get that side out too. See you in a minute. Alright, so I've got the other side of the caliper out. And there we go. No sign of a brake pad at all. It's been using those two pegs. So now what we've got to do is back off this lever on and get the new pad in there. Remove that pad and replace it. And that 
this side. So I'm going to take that to the vise and work on that and I'll catch you in a minute. Drop a or two of a well-known penetrating oil and I'll back that off. Okay, so back in go to pegs. Now, how does it work? The lever arm here is moved. And because it is curved, as you rotate it, pushes the two pegs and pushes the pad out further. Really quite a simple design. So I'm going to leave it out as far as I can for the moment. And as far as I can so that the pegs don't fall out. And we'll get that back in a minute. The next thing to work on Use the brake puck in here. Well, that seems quite solid. So I'll take that to the vice as well and have a little bash on that. And I'll be back in a moment. So I tacked that little bit with a chisel and then just started levering it up. And we should be able to get that out quite simply. smaller brake puck in on this side. And sometimes I super glue those in, but I may not have to this time. I only tend to super glue them in because while you're fighting it back into position, they drop out if you're not if you're not lucky. Alright. So, we've got to get those two back in, <coughs> either side of the sprocket, and then we've got to adjust up the nut, and I'll probably get Alfie down on the floor again to do that bit. Actually, I will super glue that in. And just a quick blob in the bottom there. It'll take a while to set, but setting I will fight this back into the other side. Now 
and basically it's carried on a, a couple of bolts and up in there shall I move you around so you can see again Right up there, you can probably make out the lever arm, and then there's a large spring which hooks on to the brake rod going forwards. Now, I've got to get another spring hooked onto that and heading backwards. That, when I took it off, didn't appear to be in the right place, so I'm going to have a quick look up in there. And I'll catch you again in a minute. So it suddenly dawned on me how the last one I worked on was fixed. The spring sits on the inside as a return spring for the brake. And there was a little assembly that sat through that hole with the spring hooked on the other side heading towards the brake lever so I just quickly knocked up something that looks similar a little bit of galve plate I've got not particularly strong but I think it should do the job so I'll get that fitted. Alright, sorry I couldn't show you that bit. There wasn't enough space up in there for all of us. But you now see the return spring heading off towards the back wall. And the main spring heading forwards. And all we've got to do now is adjust that nut. Tighten up on those pegs there and we'll adjust the brakes that way and then put a split pin through it because that would not missing. Right. See if I can do that while you're there. Try the right size, always help. 
Right, we've got our hand to start with. Right, Alfie's back together. Um, brakes work. The slight problem is that there is an awful lot of rust on that uh, sprocket. So what I want to do now is run her up and down the road for a bit and. Um, See if we can wear off some of that rust and then we'll need to adjust the brakes again. So, I'll see you in a minute. I've adjusted up the brake, and that's a nice tidy little mower, superb. <laughs> 